Okay, in Mod 4 Lesson 4, we're going to be focused on tape diagrams again, and we're going to be looking at word problems, and we're going to be interpreting fractions as division again. Okay, now in the dig deeper section of today's lesson, if you feel you need more practice, if you go to that link, you'll get more examples exactly on how to do this. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started. Here's your application problem from the previous lesson. Now, if you want to try to solve this yourself, go ahead and pause this video, and then you can check and see how you did. Okay? All right. Now, in order for me to solve this problem, because it says four grade levels need equal time for indoor recess, and the gym is available for three hours, how many hours of recess will each grade receive? Draw a picture to support your answer. Now, any time it tells me to draw a picture to support my answer, I'm going to go to the easy tape diagram. Okay, so let's start off with a tape diagram here. It's nothing more than a rectangle. And I always know the top of my rectangle is my total. And according to this, it says three hours. That's how much time each one has. So this is three hours. Now it says, how many hours of research for each grade receive? Well, it says there are four grade levels. So I'm gonna have to split this into four. Now, what this tells me is since there was three hours divided by four classrooms, that means each one will get three-fourths of an hour. So each one of these would be three-fourths. And I know that's true because if I added these back up, I'd have three, six, nine, twelve-fourths which 12 divided by four is three. So I know each one would get three quarters an hour. So I can write this one here, three fourths of an hour. Now the sixth one says, how many minutes? Well, if I go back to the tape diagram, I could do this two ways. First off, three quarter of an hour. If I know what three quarter of an hour is, that would help, but if I don't, then I need to go back to this again. And I know one hour is 60 minutes. So two hours would be 120. So three hours would be 180 minutes. Now, once again, if I were to separate this into four, I'd end up with 180 over four. Which means 180 divided by four, which for standard algorithm would be 180 divided by four. Now four doesn't go into one, but four goes into 18 four times, because I know four times four is 16. There gives me two, I bring down my next digit, and four and to go to 20 five times, five times four is 20, and I know I'm done, because there's zero remainder, and, and I have nothing else to bring down. So as far as our answer here, we know now that it's 45 minutes. Now, last one says, if the gym can accommodate two grade levels at once, how many hours of recess will two grade levels receive in three hours? Well, if I come back to here again with a tape diagram and we're back to hours, so it said they had three hours. And it said now, instead of four, two grade levels at once. So that means I'll be able to split it into two. So each one will be three seconds. So in this one here, three seconds would equal one and a half hours. So on this one for C, the answer is one and a half hours. Now, as you can see, we are able to solve all three of those with a tape diagram. And for the one for minutes, we just had to convert how many hours were to minutes to use the same tape diagram. But once we wrote it as a fraction, it gave us our answer. All right, the standard still is interpret a fraction as division and numerator by the denominator, a slash b equals a divided by b. And we're gonna solve word problems involved in division of whole numbers leading to answers in the form of fractions or mixed numbers. And by using the visual fraction models, or equations to represent the problem. We're gonna use tape diagrams. All right, a listen objective. I will be able to use tape diagrams to model fractions as division. 
in our essential question, how can I use the tape diagram to model fractions as division? So remember to answer that in your notes. Okay, so as I go through these problems, if you want to pause it first and try it on your own and then check to see if you got your answer, it'd be a pretty good way because we've been working with a lot of word problems. So first, let's take a look here. Eight tons of gravel is equally divided between four dump trucks. How much gravel is in one dump, dump truck? Okay, well, we're going to do a tape diagram. And we know the total is always, the top is always the total. And this becomes eight tons of gravel. Now it said there's four dump trucks. So I'm going to split it into four. And each one of these represents one dump truck. Now, as we can see from the drawing, we want to know how much is in one dump truck. So we have eight tons divided by four dumps trucks, which equal eight fourths. So we know each one of these will be eight fourth tons. So eight fourth tons, eight divided by four gives us two tons. So we would have two tons of gravel in each dump truck. Now, let's see if I could check. Now, I divided in order to find it. So if I took two tons times four dump trucks, That would equal eight tons. So it checks. All right, let's try another one. On this one, five tons of gravel is equal to divided between four dump trucks. So go ahead and pause it and try it if you would like to. Okay, so the top is always gonna be our five tons or a total. And this time we have four dump trucks. So we know that's five tons, that's important. And we had four dump trucks that we're putting it between and they're equally divided between them. And I wanna know how much is in one dump truck. So we can see by this, we have five tons divided by four, which equals five fours tons. So this being one dump truck, We know this would be five fourth tons. So each dump truck would have five fourth tons. Now we wouldn't usually say five fourths tons. So we have five fourths, which equals four goes into five one time to one left over. So it'd be one and one quarter tons in each truck. Now, once again, if I wanted to check this, I could add one and one quarter four times because one and one quarter plus one and one quarter plus one and one quarter plus one and one quarter. So I know I'd have four hole I'd have four holes and one, two, three, four fourths, which equals five. So that checks. A problem three. Okay, this one, instead of gravel this time, we have a three meter ribbon. And this says we're gonna make four, we're gonna cut it into four equal pieces to make flowers. So each one of these sections is one piece. So we can see we have three meters divided by four pieces, which equals three fourths of a meter. So each one of these is three fourths. So 
restate an equation, the length of the ribbon is three fourths of a meter. Now let's do a check. So if I were to add all these together, I know I'd have fourths and I'm at three, six, nine, 12 fourths. So 12 fourths, 12 divided by four is three. So it checks. Problem four, if 14 gallons of water is completely, is used to completely fill three fish tanks, how much, if each tank holds the same amount of water, how many gallons will each tank hold? Okay, so once again, we're going up with the total. What's the total on this one? If you said 14, you're correct. That's 14 gallons. And how many pieces are we going to split the tape diagram into? You're right. Three for three fish tanks. And each one of these is going to be one tank. Now we can see this is 14 divided by three tanks, which equals 14 third gallons. So I know each one of these will have 14 third gallons. Now I know 14 thirds is not how I would say gallons, but I know three goes into 14 four times because three times four is 12, leaving me two left over. So I'll be four and two thirds gallons per tank. Now to check this, what if we add four and two thirds three times? And I can see I have three fours, so four times three would give me 12 for the holes. Then I got two thirds plus two thirds plus two thirds, which is gonna give me six thirds which is 12 plus two, because six divided by three is two, which equals 14, so it checks. Notice we're using everything we still used when we did our um, rubric. We're using all those same tools. All right, so remember, if you need any extra practice, go to that dig deeper section, and you'll be able to have some more practice. If not, I'll see you in class. Bye-bye.